Yes, the majority of the proceeds is uh, going to be uh, on our network expansion, on our restaurant opening. Uh, we will have to, uh, we're going to open more restaurants in Hong Kong, uh, mainland China, Singapore. Uh, we are also getting into Japan and Australia. So uh, next, uh, in the next three years, we're going to have uh, more than double of our number of stores from 156 stores up to more than 300. And we're also going to uh, invest into some of the central kitchens in different markets, as well as uh, different uh, brand building exercise in the international platform. And we also invest into our digitalizations in order to have a better connection with our customers. And, and, and M mentioned it a bit there in terms of pricing pressure and the prices of your dishes and how uh, customers will react to that. In terms of uh, inflationary pricing pressures and the supply chain disruptions we're seeing worldwide, is that having an impact on your business in terms of just the raw ingredients? Well, certainly there's some challenges, but uh, uh, I think uh, the beauty of our business model is that we have a variety of the toppings to choose from. Uh, we have uh, different ingredients, no matter it's pork, chicken, or beef. Uh, that's why uh, there are some commodity prices will change in different times of the year, uh, but we can balance it with our variety of the toppings. And this is a, 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 a very good uh, for us. Uh, of course, we are still uh, monitoring the overall supply chain with the recent disruptions, uh, but so far we haven't been affected. As you guys expand into Japan as well as Australia, is your menu going to be catering those specific markets? And if I can ask a follow-up question to that, in terms of your expansion plans, would there be anything uh, that would derail uh, your plan to open 15 restaurants in Australia by 2024. What could impact that? Well, uh, first of all, we are quite uh, a believer of our taste. This is a very uh, unique taste, the Tam Jai taste. Uh, it has a variety of tastes through the Tam Jai elaboration. And this is very popular. And uh, our spicy uh, spiciness is also one of the very popular uh, choices uh, from our customers. So um, we believe this is also the trend in the world, uh, no matter it's Japan or uh, Australia, taking spicy food, uh, especially uh, currently the trend of mala, and we are very strong in the mala, uh, and our mala soup is long oily. So um, for that reason, uh, getting into the new countries, we're not uh, going to plan for any changes on the taste, but of course we will have some adaptations on the toppings suitable for the locals. So there will be some, uh, something that we're going to explore in different markets uh, to get adapted more into the uh, local country.